Hey guys, got a bit of a treat for you today. This book has been sent to me from um, from Denmark by a writer called Well, aka Romance. He sent me this whopping book. In fact, he sent me two books of this, which this is the first. Prince One, uh, Prince One, Danish writer from um, from what would be, I guess, the first wave of Danish graffiti, eighty five to twenty two. Um, I think this. I think the book was made in twenty two. Uh, very kind of uh, of Well to send me this. Uh, you know, it can't have been cheap on a postage. This is really heavy, and it's like I said, there's two in there, of which I'll do a video of the other one um, soon. But let's get into this one first of all. So this is Prince One. Got it on a nice, uh, nice wide lens today, so you can have a look. The dedication in the front there, big old silver tag. Very nice. Let's uh, get stuck in classic, classic uh, action shot there. Loving that jacket, nice work, mate. Nice bit of drip there. Burger star. Oh, wow, that looks like an old 80s photo. Oh, God. That's my era. <laughs> oh, by the way, I have to tell you, I had a quick look through this before we uh, before we got going today, and this guy is prolific. I mean, the amount of paint this guy's used. He must have used gallons of paint in this time. I mean, you can see I won't even get into this. You see all this beautiful... Look at the colour. I don't know what the colours were like in Denmark back then. Uh, UK, we had awful paint. I mean, really awful. That looks like a nice early one. Uh, but some of these colours, these look a lot more vivid than car, car colours. So I can only... By the way, I'm just going to flip through because there's so much of it. I'm just going to keep moving. Um, I might stop every so often just to uh, just to make a, a remark, but um, I mean, do you, do you see what I mean by prolific? This guy has done some serious work. He's done a lot of work. Great styles, really interesting styles, and uh, and like I say, look at the look at these colours. These colours for the time. He's saying this nineties, ninety four. The colours. If you look at the colours of UK graph at the same time, our paint was just not great. We. We couldn't get the colours here. It was really, really difficult. It's why we're still obsessed with pinks and purples to this day, most of us, because we couldn't really get them in those days, except Buntlack, of course, and Buntlack was hugely expensive. And uh, only if you got a sponsorship deal or if there, if there was a jam and there was some Bunty going spare or whatever, would you ever get to use it? Um, I never got to use Buntlack back then. I, just, I wasn't good enough to be involved in sponsorship events or anything. In the uh, late eighties, early nineties, it was it was not um, that was not oh nice dubs, lots of dubs, lots of dubs. These chromes are almost white as well, aren't they? Really opaque whites, almost. Interesting. I mean, you know, if you're a writer, you're interested in brands of paint and stuff as well, and you know, and color bridge and all that sort of boring stuff that other people would never be interested in. But um, see, so look at the cover; he's done very. That, I mean, that's a throw up there. He's like <laughs> absolutely banged that up. Brilliant. It's having a Barbie. Um, classic big Western Western wanted style poster. Um, style Pops One Hundred in the UK he used to run out of style like this. He was so good at it. He used to get it a bit in the uh, in the northeast as well. Uh, a guy called Talk or Talker. Um, here from Newcastle, I believe he used to run a style like this as well. Big sort of wanted poster blockbuster letters. Very nice. Can you tell I'm on caffeine this morning, by the way? I'm slightly ramped up. This guy, Renz, uh, is worth a mention. I don't know if he's still active or what, Renz, but he was a really prolific Danish writer. This is Copenhagen, 92. Around this time, Renz was absolutely slaying it he was killing everything he was a big train writer as well he used to do uh in fact i've got a couple of uh of train picks i wonder if i could find them now have i got uh, no, um, trackside by wrens there i wonder if i could find these really quickly for you now i've got the album to hand i'm flipping through oh here we go look at that straight there brilliant these um i forget who sent me these we used to trade photos back in the day I told you all about this sort of stuff before. Let's try photos. Got a couple of lovely Wrens pieces. Okay. Wow, the caffeine is really, uh, really zipping through my system this morning. I don't normally do. I don't do coffee or anything like that. It really uh, upsets my guts. But um, he clearly wrote shake or chic as well. The 
look at these lovely white walls with tagging and the old piece. This is what I remember from this time from the early 90s. So great. It wasn't so big on production wall. Production wall in those days was like a really big deal. If you did a production wall, you know, with like character artists and backgrounds and everything, that was a massive deal. Most people were, were, were like, you know, dropping these walls, you know, over an old wall, tagging stuff. I still love this stuff from back then. Colours, man. Colours. 93, this is. So this is still before Pro Paint had come around. Very famous name there. See, the two writers that I really knew from Denmark were Bates and Renz. And uh, I didn't know about this guy. And I'm amazed I didn't because clearly he uh, he was getting very, very busy. By the way, the lighting is terrible, isn't it? Really terrible lighting. And it's because the, the sun has actually come out uh, here in London. So uh, classic character. Beautiful character there. Lovely piece. Look at this. Look at the colours. Pinks and dark pinks. Where's he getting these colours? The 90s, that is. Somebody tell me about where uh, where Danish paint was was uh, was coming into the mix because or, or were they mixing their own paints? Because that did happen in the UK as well. Uh, Nayak, you might have something to say about this um, in the comments. Uh, chime in, please, uh, because I know you were. Uh, you were mixing paints and inks, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty certain we've talked about that before. Oh, this is just lovely stuff, isn't it? Very New Yorky still. You know, you can see the influence of New York and all this all this work. Classic, you know, character, character, letters, letters into letters. Not as not as scared of a bit of white negative space in the background. I'm cool with all that. Love it. Lovely little side in pieces, characters. Delicious, right? Oh, now we're into so now we're into like production wall. Yeah, so this is later. This is like two thousand. So now you start to see productions becoming a much bigger deal. Writers really getting involved in uh, in putting together production walls. First train steel. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, older styles again. Hasn't got a date on it, but I put that at the end of the eighties for sure. That's um yeah that's nineties again. Locos pops one hundred first UK writer to uh, to do a locomotive in the UK. We shout about pops because he's probably my favourite writer. Big ups Richie, um, amazing writer and a great guy. For those of you who know him, Prince Scribe. Okay yeah so he's hitting steel here as well, and that looks like. Yeah, difficult to tell what are runners, what's a ghost yard, what all that. I mean, who cares? I don't really care, to be honest. I've never really cared about that. I know writers make a big distinction sometimes about, you know, what's in a ghost yard or uh, or what's in a, what you know, runners and all that sort of stuff. I understand it because everybody wants a runner, right? Everybody wants a runner. That's a great piece. Look at that as a, as a window down panel piece. That is a great piece. That's quite tech as that. Again, you know, this guy's busy. He's getting out every day. He must be getting out every day because you can guarantee there's stuff that hasn't gone on. That he's not that he's not put in here. But this is a really again this love these wanted poster, straight letter blockbuster styles. Love that. On freights this time. Hitting freights in the yard, top to bottom whole car. Get on it. Look at this. Lots of beautiful panel pieces. If I had to choose, I wouldn't know how to choose, you know, if, if, if you said to me, what do you, what do you prefer, like a, uh, a whole, whole car window down or a top to bottom whole car? It's a tough call, you know, it's a really tough call. I don't know which I'd go for. Big train yard shots. This really reminds me of being young. We were constantly, over, well, you know, I won't, uh, I won't go into details, but uh, it was a long time ago. Um, stop. Around, I think that might be, might be Danish. I'm not sure. Um, somebody's got the keys to the cab there. That's a great piece. Love that. Love that. Note to self: maybe don't do caffeine before doing a flip through next time, because your thoughts are going a thousand miles an hour, and you're probably not making any sense. Love that as well. Red outline. 
on the pink and the blue, it looks like a really pale blue is used there. Smoky cloud around the edge. Lovely, reminds me of an old Dilk piece from, from back in day, big ups Dilk. Montana Shop Hero, love Dilk. Some of you might know Dilk, he's from Nottingham, Snenton. Top, top man, big up Sylvia and Dilk. Uh, this is all beautiful, isn't it? This is all, I mean, there's steel everywhere, steel, look at this. Look at that, beautiful piece. Oh, this reminds me of a really famous, but I remember seeing that milk bus years ago. Uh, when would that be? Was that would that Copenhagen? Might have been. Not sure. Might be Germany. Not sure, to be honest. My Europe was not good. I hadn't travelled back then, so I had no idea where anything was. Um, not that I'm, I'm brilliant on geography now, but yeah, the, the classic bus piece. That looks like it. Is it? Is it a runner? Looks like it might be a runner. Or maybe not, actually, because this looks like the same bus, so maybe... Uh, Maybe it was a, a scrap bus or something. Don't know. Nice, nice floater, floating piece. We call that. Mm -mm. Yeah, look at this fill. Beautiful old school fill on that. Great. Khan Prince trio Prince Khan. Oh, Khan is the other guy. I think. I think I've got I've got Khan's book. This is all great, isn't it? This is 2017. Wow. Ooh, blueprint. Yes, please. Lovely. Oh, it's a black book. Great. Early character design. My certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Yeah, true enough. True enough, mate. Some great characters here. Oh, I just live for this stuff. That's a gorgeous, gorgeous outline, that one. Love that. Love it all, but that one particularly. Yeah, yeah, I can eat this stuff for breakfast all day, every day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something a bit scratchy about that one as well. Nice. Oh, man, that scheme. Yeah, here we go. Schemes done a bit. First picked Prince work on social media about four or five years ago. Drawn to his style. Yeah, it's kind of what I like. Legible. It is very New York-y. Oh, that's that scheme. That scheme doing a Prince piece as well. This is your classic scheme, character, letters. Super New York style. Big up scheme. Yeah, spend a lot of time in tunnels like that. Mash up. 2009 there. Yeah. 2008. I mean, we're probably about, we're not even halfway through yet. I'm going to have to keep on moving because uh, nearly a quarter of an hour in. Nice style. Lovely styles. So, I mean, this guy gets busy, right? He gets really busy. I'm sorry if I'm busy. It keeps sneaking over. Get out of there. That's off. Yeah. Great character. Saw that in his Blackfoot work earlier. Nice, very, very nice. Oh, a dance, yes. Um, yeah, some familiar names. Yeah, like that piece. Look at the straight lines. I don't know if he's masked that or if he's done freehand. Good work. It is no offence, of course, to talk about masking nowadays. It's become a very big thing. Um, only the absolute diehards are anti masking and stuff. Uh, most people. Nowadays, uh, it's all about how good you can get your piece of wall because we do production walls now. That's how it goes. We do production. You need it to be as good as it could possibly be. Okay, we're into proper production now up here. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loving that. Lovely old shot of cans there. Yeah, this is great, isn't it? So much graph. Major production wall. Now he's not done uh, credits there, but there's a lot of different writers involved here. <laughs> Love it. Anything with a beak. Yeah, 
great. Thematic colorway used. Everyone using the same colorway on the wall. Nice. Legendary Hall of Fame, Sid, Sid Hubnan, Copenhagen, 2010. Sorry for my Danish pronunciation, it's non existent. Oof, big, what, what's that? Canal side, riverside pieces, derelicts, lovely work. Wow, this guy's busy, he's busy. Oh, Ross killed, yeah. So, big, um, big graph festival. That's 2015. I think it's still on the old Ross Kilt. I think they still do it. Now, I think that's still current. I always loved this colour. I never tried it myself. Must give it a go one day. Note to self. Yes, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's jagged style. Upper stick on the wall. That's great. You get a real good sense of scale there. So that's like a 14 foot piece that. Where's this? 2011 Prince uh, character. Yeah, nice. Really nice. Really nice. I think of, whenever I think of uh, Danish graffiti, I think of characters like that, Ren and Stimpy. Maybe because that's Ren's. Maybe that's the association there. I don't know. Maybe it is that. Great. Love it. Take on a, I'm assuming take on a Bode lizard there. Bit of uh, bit of Vaughan tribute. We love that. Always love that in graph. Never tire of seeing a Bode lizard. Ooh, that's nice. Debs and Prince there. Yeah, nice wall. Again, it's 2014 that one. Wow, that's 10 years ago. Can't quite believe that. A lovely big uh, big public production there. Black background, bit of flaring around your character there. Nice. Ooh, ooh, yeah, that's a gnarly background. I love that. Mint, Prince, Robo Apocalypse. Yeah, great. 2012, 12 years ago. Yeah, terrific. And straight on the tiles there. Again, a piece on tiles. There's something about a piece on tiles that one never tires of. Right, love it. Gremlins. Old abandoned buildings. A solitary piece in the wall. Mm, delish. Yeah, love it, love it. The classic. Prince Khan. Love that reflective, the classic old school reflective. Delicious. Nice, great production. Big old wall. Construction wall, construction site wall. Wow, nice. Cool. There doesn't seem to be much rhyme or reason about um, chronology or um, they're not necessarily, in, well, they're not in order of uh, of date or anything and they're not sort of categorized or maybe they are categorized in a way that i can't tell so suddenly we're going from production to dubs to that that's a really nice one as well oh, this is a, like a big full wall that's a big big long wall nice There's, i never tire of an underwater theme as well absolutely love it just love it guys Mmm, that reminds me a bit of Risk LA. Great, really, really cool. I'll tell you what, you, you know, he's not afraid to use colour, is he? Is all different colours, all different. You know, I get stuck into the same colourways sometimes. I've got, I've got some nice colourways, but I do get stuck. I'll be honest with you. There's some colours that I just avoid, like the plague. This guy doesn't seem to avoid anything. 
Oh, that reminds me of a really old Pops piece from 1990. That's a really nice, really beautiful piece there. Nice, really nicely done. Yes. Lovely. I know I'm flicking through quick, but it is because it's such a massive book. And I want to see if I can bring it in under 40 minutes. <laughs> Gorge. Again, it's abandoned building stuff. We don't have many abandoned buildings uh, around here anymore. This is what gentrification did for us, I guess. Abandoned buildings were all knocked down or spruced up and sold off for vast amounts of money. So uh, we don't have the, uh, the dereliction that we used to in the 80s and 90s. We used to have loads of dereliction in the 80s and 90s. There's derelicts everywhere. You wouldn't have believed it. We were constantly over sort of industrial waste ground and old train yards. Oh, yeah, look at these. Um, oh, somebody tell me. Rumour, if you see this, you'll, you'll know this. Um, they're not Puma States, are they? Because States were uh, Swades. Which Pumas are these? With the big fatties in. Big fat laces. Your classic old school uh, early 80s New York look. That one. Good work. My bear. Nice sunshine. Hold on the sunshine. I think, uh, I think the sunshine wants here in the UK. About 2007, I think it was. Straight on the tiles. Again, abandoned buildings. Is um, somebody tell me, is, is Denmark renowned for its abandoned buildings? It's one of those very progressive uh, Scandinavian uh, countries, isn't it? Also, uh, is there a big tolerance uh, around graph and stuff in, uh, in Denmark? I don't know uh, what the what the culture is like for that kind of stuff over there. I would assume, being Scandinavian, they're very progressive, um, but I don't know. Maybe that's a maybe that's a sort of cliched uh, stereotype. Maybe they're incredibly draconian or something. I don't know. Oh, there's he's done the scheme. He's done the uh, the scheme tribute on the wall. You see what I'm talking about? If you if, if you were to count up all these pieces, you can guarantee he hasn't put. He's only put his favourite stuff in his best pieces. He'll have done more pieces than this. You know, this is a this is a guy who's really got up over. This sort of thing from '85 to, to now. What's that? That's thirty odd years, isn't it? No, that's forty odd years. Okay, I'm not a mathematician. We've ascertained that. Uh, love that. Love it. Dark background. Beautiful sprayed. Yeah, gorgeous. Uh, in 40 years, he's done a lot of work. A lot. And uh, and this won't be all of it. This will just be like the creme de la creme. And uh, yeah, I mean, mad props, man. Absolutely mad props. Obviously, you can freeze frame on any of these that you, uh, that you fancy. Basketball court. Mm, never done a basketball court piece. That would be great. See, I mean, look at these. You know, lovely dark background character. Look at the light on the character and that gorgeous piece by the side of it. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Big old mad wall there. That's a getting up wall, that one. Find a space, chuck it on. Yes. Lovely track side, 2017. Back on the tiles. See, look at that for a colour scheme. Look at that. Olive drab, oranges. Good work. Lilac, pinks, black outline. This is a man who loves to spray. That may sound like a very odd thing to say, but trust me, you know, there are graphers who don't particularly like... The, I mean, you know, it is hard work sometimes, getting up on a wall. Anybody who's got up on a wall will tell you that. That is fabulous. <laughs> Absolutely love it. 
absolutely love that piece. Yeah, it can be very, very hard work to paint walls. You've got to really, really love it sometimes to get out in the cold and the wet and the human feces and syringes and you know because often you're painting in places where junkies frequent and uh, that kind of stuff it can be a bit dirty and horrible and uh, you've got to love it you've got to really really love it and uh, the older you get it gets harder to love it as well trust me because it gets more and more tiring you don't realize how tiring it is to paint a wall to paint a wall that size that is knackering the older you get you don't think twice about it when you're younger. You'll blitz that. You'll blitz three in a day, no problem. Not that I ever did. I never painted three walls in a day. That was not my, not my thing. But, um, I mean, how Tizer does it, I really don't know. Like, Tizer still does it now. The main belt, the classic main belt. Look at that. Nice. Kismo, when we went to South End, he had his name belt in. That's great. This character, the classic Kiora character, the corrupt, keep using the word classic, don't I? It's because I've had too much caffeine. 2020, yeah, nice. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Nice, um, I don't know what kind of car that is, but that's a beautiful car as well. It reminds me of an LA low rider. Oh yeah. Gorgeous styles for miles and miles. Nice studio. I'll tell you what, it's nice and neat as well, isn't it? My studio doesn't look like that. If you could see it, my God. It's like a bomb's hit. Oh, lovely. Love it. Twenty twenty. It's only four years ago. Man, still getting busy. And twenty two is when the book came out. I think. I believe. Not awfully paints. Yeah. Character mash up here. Saw some of these in the black book earlier. Cool, man, just getting to the end now. Just coming up on the half hour, that's good. That's good. I know I slightly raced through it, but I know a lot of you won't sit through an hour's worth of uh, flip through. But there we have it. And a nice, uh, nice big hector piece on the back. Great work. Lovely. What a treat that was. So, Danish writer Prince One, thank you very much again to uh to well aka romance for sending me this book uh i'll have another one for you soon uh, and i believe that's khan and um and yeah uh to in the in the meantime until then just uh enjoy a bit of this and uh and and you know hit the freeze frame every so often so you can have a look a closer look at uh, some of these works uh fantastic works by prince one uh big ups and uh yeah back for more soon